What's up, gamers? This is Jay Play from MMO, and it's been a long, long time since I did a pretty good stream. And I decided right now is my time to shine. I'm gonna be playing a new game that actually has been being worked on for the last four years um, by Iacopo, the head developer at Dynamite Studios. And this game is called Fractured Online. And I'm super fucking excited about this game. I'm gonna do a video tomorrow night. We're gonna go through the whole thing. I've been drinking a lot tonight, so I'm all kinds of blah, blah, blah. the information is in here, but it's all kinds of everywhere right now. So what I'm gonna do tonight is actually just gonna uh, kind of fuck around, see if I can respec uh, my character again. Because if you respec, uh, you have to wait a week, and I didn't know that. And when you start the tutorial in this game, there's no classes. It's a classless system. So you can kind of use whatever weapon you want. You can use whatever spells you want. And the way that you gain spells, which are called abilities, is you kill creatures. And each time you kill a creature, there's a, a percentage bar that goes up. And when you get to a, a certain percentages, you learn skills from that creature. And then you can unlo unlock those skills with knowledge points. It's really fucking awesome. I've been having a lot of fun with this. And I'm super excited because I think I'm going to be playing this game for a very, very long time. Um... As you guys know, if you have been here on my stream before, it's been a long time since I've streamed. I used to have a pretty decent following. I had 3,000 people on my Discord at one point. My mom got brain cancer and passed away about a year and a half, maybe two years ago at this point. And I stopped streaming, so I haven't been able to get in here and do what I want to do for a long time. So I'm super excited because this game is like my comeback game. It's the game that I'm going to be playing a lot. It's kind of cool because Glyph is the distributor and... Game Go, Game Go, Game Go is uh, publishing the game, but because it's distributed on Glyph, um, I found it because actually I was <laughs> I was going back to play Arcade and I saw it. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I started looking into it. At this point, I've watched every single Q and A and N M A or M N M A N N M N N. I've watched all the uh, videos of the devs talking about uh, taking questions from the community, and they're listening to the community and trying to build the game around what people want. So I'm super excited. Let's fucking play it. Let's see. I'll show you this shit. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. That's the screen I should have went to in the first place. Let's go back to that screen. There you go. All right. Awesome. It's been a long time. Um, I'm going to keep the music playing, but I'm going to turn it down because... Actually, fuck. I did not realize. I don't have my headphones, so I'm gonna drop this to. That yeah, looks good. So you got some music in the background. I realized that music was super loud, so everything I just said was probably completely too quiet. And I'm also trying to be quiet because my wife's asleep and she has to go to work. And I do have this little screen right here that I'm gonna pop up every now and then when I need to leave the computer because that happens every single time I stream. So I decided I'd give you guys something to watch while you're waiting for me to come back. And it is actually another streamer. His name is, what's his name? Let's look at it real quick again. Uh, Grumpy Old Bratwurst, and YouTube channel. Uh, special shout out to him because he's badass and he did this really kick ass really good game. Um, and they took over a city, which is fucking badass. Since we're here, I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna play. I'm gonna go with my M1 character. So, when I started the tutorial on this particular character, I had chosen, it gives you kind of a base set skills that you can use and it gives you those skills so you can play for the beginning of the game. And then you have to acquire all the other skills that you want. You can change classes anytime after you acquire the skills that you need to play those classes. It's based on what armor and weapons you're wearing. Um, I somehow decided I was going to change my specs, and I changed my specs, and I became a uh, archer. But when I did that, I actually respect so that my archer abilities would do more damage. And because I did that, I can't use my magical abilities now because they're shit. And uh, I found out right after I respect, it takes one week to be able to respect again. Um, I know some of you guys might hear like a weird sound in the background. That is my dryer. I am sitting next to my washer and dryer. You can't see because I got a nice little green screen behind me. But there's a washer and dryer to my left behind the green screen. And uh, that's annoying and loud, but you're going to have to deal with it. I love you guys. I missed doing this. I missed streaming. And also, if you look at chat right now, if anyone's watching, make sure that you click that link. That link takes you to the Fractured Online website where you can purchase a Founders Pack and play with me right now if you choose to do so. And if you click that link, that link, specifically that link that is in chat right now, it is a HTTP 
S dot dot. I always say dot dot, but it's a colon. Not really a colon. I don't know what that's called. Two dots. Whatever. Backslash backslash tinyurl.com slash ymc for yxx9. And I use the tiny uh, um, I use the uh, tiny URL. I, like I said, I've been drinking. Just give me a minute. I used the tiny URL because the original uh, referral link was very long. So if you if you go to that website, click on that link, it'll take you to a place to buy a founders pack. And if you buy a founders pack through that link from me, you will receive a free costume at launch, which will be late this year, but still 2020, December probably. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing, but late this year will be complete full launch. I bought the biggest pack you could possibly buy in this game because I was super excited. I spent $150. Um, you can buy in for 25 if you decide to do that on the bronze package, and I would really suggest that you do. Okay, let's do the thing. Um, so I'm riding my horse here. I am in a guild called Blood that I created, and you guys are going to fill that guild up with me because I am going to be playing this game a lot, and I do want to get to some of the bigger PvP content at the end of the game, and I'm going to need some people to do that with me. So we're going to start a, a guild and, and, and do that, run that. If you'd like to be in my guild, just tell me in game. So first you got about the Founders Pack. So, so right now I'm in a city, actually. This particular city that I am in is called Gold Rush. Um, Gold Rush is a player-built city. Stage 14, it's stage town, actually. It is uh, stage 14, stage town, both stages. It's a stage in both of those. Anyway, every single building that you see here is owned by a player, and they worked together to build this city. And what's really cool, um, I'm going really slow right now because I'm overloaded. Um, you can see that I'm 149%. 134 to 90 kg. Um, I can actually run a lot faster on a horse if I wasn't so uh, uh, over encumbered. So I'm cucumbered right now, and that's okay. What we're gonna do, and the reason I'm cucumbered right now, is because I'm gonna take all this cool shit that you see in my inventory here, and I'm gonna start crafting tonight because I haven't really crafted. I want to see if I can build up um, my crafting skills, and I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I know that right here in my little book of knowledge, which is called the book of knowledge. If I go to armor here, I can see my armor crafting level here. It says my current mastery in crafting common clothes. So we're gonna look at the uh, one to craft hide armor. You see it's a little bit higher there. So I'm gonna start crafting hide armor and see if we can get that up pretty high. That'd be cool. And if I had 2,500 KP knowledge points, I could be getting some more talents right now, but um, I'm gonna wait on that. So here we go. What we're gonna do? Can't mount horse. Uh oh, somebody's having issues in the game. That happens. It's a beta. It is a closed beta, but you can buy in, and then it becomes open beta to you. But it's not open beta to everyone unless you buy in. And I would highly suggest spending the money on this game. You can see you have farming. The crafting system in this game is awesome because it's like a dual crafting system. This whole thing reminds me of Albion Online or. Uh, Path of Exile, and also because of the isometric view, but also it, it reminds me a lot of Diablo 2 with the MMORPG aspect, but you don't have a level. Actually, you see no level. Everybody is the same level. What defines you is your skills, and you learn those skills. That's my inventory. Let's go to the skills. By defeating creatures, and I'll show you in this little book of knowledge, we can go back to Bestiary. And these are the creatures I've been fighting. So you can see I have 22% brown bears killed. You build this knowledge up and the progress goes <coughs> and you start to learn about the, the actual, you get the stat block on that. <coughs> at the bottom, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, skills and abilities, these are abilities that I can unlock at certain percentages. So once I've researched, I guess would be a good word, by destroying these animals multiple times, you get to a certain point, this one's probably 40 and 60 and these skills become available to learn. And then you use the KP knowledge points to actually purchase the skills and you can use them. Um, you can see I've been actually killing a lot of stuff. I've been around the world a little bit and I've been playing for about 10 hours or so. And it's interesting because actually these are all still pretty low numbers and I've been killing a lot of stuff. 
You can also see exactly how many more enemies you haven't discovered. And this is just, I believe, this continent. Um, there will be four continents at launch that I think, uh, that, and that I know of. There will be three planets. And the way this game works is the reason it's called Fractured is because these, there was these three, well, one giant planet. The sun pulled them in, or the gravity of space imploded the planet and broke it into segments. And it ended up becoming three smaller planets known as the... Uh, the El Elysium Ring. I believe that's correct. And those three planets make up the solar system, the Elysium system. So, basically, there is a... I, I have the names of the planets written down, but I don't know them off the top of my head right now. One of them is a human planet. One of them is a wild folk planet, which is kind of a uh, mix of deer people, and there's actually four races on that planet. Two of them will be available at launch. <coughs> I smoke too much. That's the problem. And then we have um, the demon race, which is on its own planet. I believe that planet is called Territoros. 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 Tartarus. Tartaros. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I need to listen to the devs again and listen to them pronounce it so I can pronounce it correctly. But the point is, you can be a demon. And a lot of games struggle with the PvP, PvE aspect of games, and how can you add PvP to an open world without people ganking you constantly. This game came up with a kind of cool way to do that, and those three planets have different rules and PvP, different rules for the characters and players to attack other players. So the human planet um, will be the medium planet where... You can flag yourself at PvP, and everyone else can flag themselves as PvP, and then anyone who's flagged can fight. But if you choose not to fight, you don't have to. The Wild Folk planet is a completely docile, neutral planet, where most people do not fight at all. Um, in fact, there's uh, no way you can attack players on that planet as far as I could gain from what the devs had said. So let me go back to the human planet. The middle planet actually the way it works is you can flag yourself and there are also there's a court system involved or some kind of player system where players can be jailed for doing bad things and they can vote on or they have bounty hunting I'm sorry I'm fucking stupid there's a bounty hunting system where Good players can hunt down bad players, and there's penalties for being bad. So if you're a murderer and you run around killing, player killing, PKing people, you can actually go to jail very much like Arc Age that had the kind of the same system. That's on the human planet. And there's the demon planet, which is for the hardcore PvPers, because demon planet is full loot drop, and everyone can attack everyone at any time. The crazy thing about this is there are things called stargates that let you travel between planets. And since the PvP systems are based on the planets themselves, it doesn't matter what character you are, what race you are, you can go to those planets and partake in the events. It is not that easy or simple to travel through a Stargate from what I'm learning. I've never done it, but I've heard that it's a little difficult. You do need to collect a certain type of energy um, to be able to travel through a Stargate. And then you can open the Stargate and actually go through to a different planet. I believe Stargates also let you travel on the same continent because you can very much see these continents are very large. This is Aaron. This is a human continent. And there's another planet. Uh, I forgot the name of the actual planet. Zendesia. I think that's it. Zendesia. I'm right. I'm right. So this is a continent on Zendesia. And there is another continent on Zendesia called Mir. And Mir is... I can travel to that place. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. I believe there are... I think you can... I know you can use Stargates to travel. I've never found a Stargate. There's only one Stargate, I believe, on each continent. And I don't know where exactly that is. And I don't exactly know how to activate it. There's a specific m mineral you have to mine, I believe, or some type of energy crystal that you need to get. I'm not... Don't, don't quote me on that. I know there's some kind of energy that you need to accumulate to be able to do that. So that's pretty fucking cool. I'm going to go back into the town now and I'm going to start actually playing because I came in to do something and I haven't even started doing it yet. I feel like the music is still really loud. Is the music loud? Uh, 
Let's try attack. Alright, that might be better. So, right now we're in Gold Rush. I am actually going to go ahead and go into Gold Rush and see if I can find the leather crafting station over here. And I'm going to see if I can get my crafting uh, leather armor, hide armor up. So here you can see this needs actually seven more pieces of wood to complete. Somebody is building here and this is their house in the city. I cannot mess with their stuff. I can't even use their forge or the uh, smelters out here. But there are certain buildings that are like city approved buildings that you can use. And those buildings should let me craft. And if I'm gonna craft, I'm gonna craft hardcore. So we're gonna do it. So, let's see, if I look at the map up here, I can't really zoom into the city from here. In fact, I'm not even on, I'm way up here. Yeah, you can't really see anything on that map. You have to use your mini map up here. Let's zoom in here and look this way. That's obviously some kind of metal working factory. There's a forge. It doesn't tell you what things are when you highlight them, which is interesting. It's kind of like you have to figure it out and learn. But when you click on it, let me get off my horse. When you click on it, you can tell that this is a metal forge. You can make ingots, light weapons, chainmail armor, plate armor, and shields. Metal shield, tower shield. And I'm still walking very slow because I am still cucumbered. So these here are just player homes. You can see on the uh, icons up here on the mini map. This next thing here, this I believe is the bank. No, that's the auction house. Okay. So this is the auction house here. And here in Gold Rush, there actually is a lot of stuff on this auction house. But the auction houses are actually unique to the town that you're in. Um, one thing you can do is you see how it says this city. You can check other auction houses, like I went to Coal Harbor here, but you cannot purchase stuff from those auction houses because they are not the auction house you are at. And here's the other continent, Mir. You can click on things like Far Far Away. This is another player city, um, and I cannot buy anything. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's true because right now I have no gold on me. If you can buy stuff though, you can, I don't think you can access it through your storage here in the city. But you know what? Let's go test that out. Next building over here. I guess right across the street. I'm still slowly walking with my over encumberedness. So this is the bank. Let's go ahead and grab out some money. I'm gonna withdraw. Let's just withdraw like, I don't know, 20 gold. Gotta use the slider, I guess. That's a lot. No, 100. 24 gold. Sounds good. So now I have 24 gold on my person. I'm gonna walk back over to the auction house. I'm sweating like crazy. It's hot as fuck in this room. Like, really fucking hot. You don't understand. Like, it's really hot. So we're at the auction house. Let's try buying this bow. Or I'll get a bow. It doesn't really matter where I buy it. Um, let's go to Ather and. Or, or, yeah, oh, it's R R N R N R N. Okay, I'm gonna click on. Mm, I'm gonna be going back to a city. Where is it at? It's not on the list. I I think it's Western Village. Yeah. So here's some dire wolf for, fur. If I'm gonna be doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Nope. You can't buy it. Okay. So I was right in the first place. I didn't know if it was just because I didn't have gold or if I literally couldn't buy anything there, but that makes sense. So back to Gold Rush and I click buy. I still can't buy anything. What the fuck? I can sell. Interesting. Um, you can also, this is pretty cool, this is a market requests. These are people that are specifically asking. Oh, because I'm, no, 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 I'm not in the right town. This city. Now, if I go to buy items. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I was correct. You can look at items in auction houses in other cities, but you can't actually purchase them. 
um, from the wrong city. You have to be in the city to purchase it, but at least you can see what city's carrying the thing that you are looking for or seeking. Another thing you can do, it's easier, <laughs> is to create a buy order. This has a list of every item in the game. And you can say, I need a chipped ruby. And there's the chipped ruby. You can create an order and say how much you're willing to pay for it. Since I don't have 930 gold, it's going to say purchase impossible. But what happens is if I put a number in there of amount of gold that I have, it takes the gold and holds it. And then when somebody makes that item, they can sell you that item directly. And they can check it just by going to view market requests. <coughs> Clear the search there. So right now, the people in this city, these are the things that they are looking for. Um, one of the things that is really cool about this particular system is you can put up requests for any items that you need, and you can put in the price that you're willing to pay. And somebody might be kind enough to make it for you or create it for you or give it to you with the price that you're putting. But um, it's hard to tell right now what things are going to be worth in this game because the auction house isn't exactly... Straight. I've seen numbers going up. People are trying to set prices. I noticed that rubies, like for instance, if we go back to buy items. Chipped rubies go anywhere from nine to ten gold, and then fine rubies go to two hundred. But then they go all the way up to five hundred because there's absolutely no method to the madness. Mine's the two hundred and one because I figured if someone has one for three, I'm gonna put one up for two, right? Um, I put my nine up because this one was ten. <laughs> There's really no I'm undercutting people because I have no idea how much stuff is worth, and I don't think anyone else knows how much stuff is worth yet. Rubies specifically work as gems that you can put a, 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 a trait on. I, I said trait because for some reason I, I really thought of uh, what's it called? Skyrim, not Skyrim. Fucking what is that called? The Elder Scrolls Online. You have the trait system where you put traits into your armor. And these gems basically work the same way in World of Warcraft. They're socketing gems. You can put an, an attribute on them and then socket them to your armor or weapons. Um, each color, and if I just type in chipped, let's do that. You can see there's topaz, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, amethysts, topaz. Uh, basically, and the prices are just all over the place. This chipped emerald here is 250, and the next chipped emerald is 300. Yeah, imbued. So these are actually imbued. This one has perception plus one. This one has uh, perception plus one. This one also has perception plus one. This is what you do with uh, chipped items. And then you can move up from chipped to fine. And then there's a, a third tier that I don't remember what it's called right now. But point is, you get it. You get how it works. So. Oh, yeah. No, it's bought my shit. It would be nice to get some money. But either way. So. Auction house, bank. What's this next building? Let's see. This is a wagon you can connect to a horse to carry heavy materials. I didn't actually show you yet, and I can't show you in the town right now because I can't build here, but I'll show you the two crafting systems in a second. Um, one of them reminds me of the forest, which is really cool because you actually literally put pieces together. Um, I'm okay right now. I'm actually hoping that there's a like a leather working shop here or a leather working table. I forgot what they're called, but they're actually poles that go outside the house. I'm still walking like one mile per hour because I am over encumbered. Cucumber. So the next building here, this is the woodworking shop. Um, you can see there's a pile of wood right here. I don't have any rights to access it, so I can't, but and then there's a uh, station here to craft different types of planks with wood. Um, and then inside this one, I believe there's a Fletchering, a Fletcher's table. There's a Fletching table there. And this would be the woodworking table where you make handles. Uh, what else can you make? A quarter staff, wooden club, and a wooden, two wooden shields. And then over here, there should be one more table in this room. I guess there's not. Interesting. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. The next building here uh, is the tailoring shop, which would be working with linen. 
I wonder if there's a table in here that I can use. No, there's not even a tailor and table in here. Looks like the city has not been built up to that point yet. And then apparently this last one was a magic symbol there. So obviously it's some type of imbuing. This would be where we, yeah, there's an imbuing table here and a staff making table right here. Oh, this is the wizard bench. This is the staff making table. Okay. And this is the imbuing table. Yeah, it makes sense. This is where you add those gems to your uh, your armor by enchanting it. That's not really true. That actually takes a certain amount of resources of different types. And then it shows you what you can enchant your weapon with. Well, I'm very sad. I'm very tired. But mostly sad. And the reason I'm sad is because I did not find what I was looking for. Um... This looks like the town hall building. I'm still walking extremely slow. Um, it's because I'm still cucumbered. I was planning on making some cool shit with hide, but apparently I'm not going to be able to do that yet. So actually, after I go to this building, I'm going to walk next door to the bank and drop all that shit so I can actually move around a little quicker. And we're going to do some combat. I'll show you what it's like. There's a chest that I cannot open because it's not mine. This is the uh, city table. So here I can apply to become a citizen of this city. Um, I click here on citizen management and I can apply as a citizen. I'm not going to apply as a citizen because actually I'm going to be staying in a different town. Um, I've been riding back and forth a lot between... Oh my... Okay, so guys, yesterday... I'm just checking to make sure that I'm right about this. Yesterday... I hung out in this city right here. Um, it was called the Mopes. It apparently is unclaimed now, which means the city was destroyed or timed out or dilapidated itself, was not kept up right by the guild that owned it, and it's gone. That is a very interesting thing to see, is that a city that I spent a lot of time in yesterday going to the bandits over here and the goblins over here, and trying to get these question marks that are still bugged and do not work. <laughs> they should unlock, but they don't. I literally hung out in this city, and I was going to get a house. This house right here, these little dots here on the screen. There's a house right here. I was going to build a house there. And now, I'm still going to build a house there. Because the cool thing is, the city doesn't really matter if it's claimed or not. I can build my house wherever I want. And that's going to be in the next video, actually, tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to try and do a couple videos tomorrow. Probably not going to happen. But I would like to build my house. I do have the gold to do it. And I've never built a house yet. So I'm kind of excited. Because all these little specks of brown here are actually housing areas. Specific plots to put houses in. My house will be right here. So, excited about that. And also because I bought the platinum package. Which is the biggest package for 150 bucks to buy in here. Um, I will also be getting a, a founder's mansion. And a villa. Uh, or maybe it's a villa mansion, but I'm getting two buildings. I believe there's another house that is a founder's house that's in the silver package. And then I also have the platinum package, which gives me the, the bigger, more amazing looking building that I have not seen yet because they have not showed us exactly what it looks like yet. But I'm excited about that. Either way, I'm going to come back to the Mopes, and the reason I'm going to live in this area here, on one of these houses right here in this corner, is specifically because they have access to the bandits and the goblins here, and there's a lot of gold to be made. I'd like to start crafting, but now that the city's destroyed, the only way I'll be able to craft is if I put a crafting table in my house, which is the plan, but that's going to take a little while. Um, so I guess I can't do what I wanted to do today, and I can't go back to the Mopes because it's gone. Maybe we'll go fuck around over here and see what this is. That sounds like a plan, right? Yeah, it does. All right, so let's go to the bank, drop all this shit so I can actually move, and then we'll go head up to that area there and see what's up in those hills. It's probably gonna kill me a lot, too. Things seem to kill me a lot. I do stupid shit, though. It's usually my fault when I die. Like, I'll just run in after fighting something with no health, like one bar, and then I'm like, ah, and the bandages just aren't filling me up fast enough to live. That happens a lot because I'm stupid and I make stupid decisions, but that's okay. You live and learn, right? Live and learn. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff 
in here and we will hold on to that for a later time um this is funny i have burning arrows which i can't use it's a good idea to pay attention when you are buying the skills in this game because they all do actually there's a little bit of limitation it's not that bad uh, there's hundreds of builds you can make, hundreds of builds you can still make in this game to kind of like be your own thing and do your own thing, and kind of be your own, uh, your own type of build. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm wondering if somebody at their house has. I forgot what it's called. It's like a skinning post. It's the thing that goes out front, but it doesn't matter because I cannot use anything from anyone's house. So, let's hop on my horse. We're going to go ahead and go for a little mission. But honestly, um, I really am going to go smoke a cigarette first. Whoa, this wall is... What the fuck? This used to have a wall completely around it. And there's the other half. It looks like it might have been sieged and destroyed. That's a possibility. But you know what we're going to do real quick, just because you guys have not seen this yet? I'll show you some combat. Okay, so it is the live action and you have to aim, right? But some of these cool skills we got here, I just netted him and it didn't work. So I guess uh, it didn't work out all the way I wanted it to. Whoa, did you see my eyes just now? I almost fell asleep. Um, it is like 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm extremely tired. I'm waiting for the dryer to stop so I can uh, go to bed. There's a horse. I'm gonna shoot it. He ran away. Whoa. Yeah, no, I just got into like fucking tired mode. I'm almost falling asleep. But I do have to do something cool. I'm harvesting this plant. That's pretty cool, right? Um, let's wake the fuck up. Get my beer. Come on. Come on, Dad, you got this. Um, one of the cool things about this game, and there's a lot of cool things about this game, when you're on a path. You can see up in the top left corner here, I'm getting this little green buff, it's called Dirt Road. It gives me a 20% uh, movement speed, I believe it's 20%, I'm not 100% sure if it's 20%, but I'm 90% sure it's 20%, not 100%, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 20%. Um, and then when you are traveling, I've never killed... You know what, if I kill him, I'll get enough knowledge points to get another skill, or to put another talent point in, so I'm gonna try killing this guy right here. Oh shit, he's, yeah, he's back. He's all, I thought he was gonna run away. I was like, oh, he's gonna take off? But no, no, he's like, fuck that. He's a moose. There are many moose in the forest. Moose is one of those words like fish. Until they came up with the word fishes, which doesn't fucking exist until they put it in the weapons dictionary, and now it's a word. I died pretty quick. And I got uh, some knowledge points there on the top, you can see. That was the first time I ever got, I well, unless I just got venison. I probably just got more venison. Yeah, raw venison. It's just deer meat. Nothing special. Um, you can see up here on my top left corner here, I've got two bars. One is my uh, sati satiety, which is a hunger bar. And the right one is my energy bar, which I believe it's an energy bar. There used to be a third bar on top of your life called the endurance bar. They took that out, and that's cool. Um, I like the way it is right now, but to fill up this hunger bar, obviously you just eat. Look at that full boom. And then this second bar here, though, it's a little more complicated. Um, this might be a good time to show you the crafting system if I can find enough stones. And since I'm looking around, there's one. I need ten of these bad boys. I see three right now. If I can collect 10 stones, I'll show you how this works. This is why I said it reminds me of the forest. So the crafting menu here is kind of cool. There's two different kinds of crafting. There's your inventory crafting where you can like make linen weave out of plant fibers. I just hit craft all. And it goes through and it crafts the linen weave. I'm getting the linen weave. Then I can go over here to like this one and craft bandages from the linen weave. You get 10 per craft, which is cool. Uh, it takes two linen weaves to craft. Okay, so there you go. Then, there's a second crafting system. I'm going to go ahead and open the same menu, the crafting menu here. I'm going to click on blueprints up here on the top right. These are houses, house 
items and things you can put in your home. The fletching table, working table, which is the bench. Or, um, I'm actually going to be looking for this tanning tub. And where would be woodworking with that charcoal pile? Advanced smeltery, smeltery, tailor bench. I guess I'd be working with the tailor bench. I'm not really sure. I feel like that should be something else for leather. The, uh, maybe the tanning bed is what, the tanning tub here is what I need to get. But either way, let's go ahead and click on campfire here. You can go ahead and place this down. Now see, I have this open world, like, clicker. I can just put it wherever I want. So let's go ahead and put it right here. And then you run up to it and you have to literally build it with the pieces you have. You can see here is I have three rocks and then now they're in there. I need five branches. So I'm gonna run over here and see if I can find a tree. There's a tree right here. We're gonna chop this tree down, which I can't do because I do not have an axe. So let's go ahead and grab some uh, branches from this tree. God, I'm tired as fuck. I'm really tired. Like, oh my god, tired. <sighs> Now that I've got some branches, I'm going to go to the crafting menu here, and I'm going to look for tools. Oh, we're in blueprints. We're clicking on crafting now. Going to tools and weapons, and we're going to craft an axe. Primitive axe. I need one small stone and one piece of rope. So we can make rope right here using plant fibers. So, um, let's go get the stuff we need. I'm going to go ahead and kill this dire wolf real quick. After I kill this dire wolf, I need to activate my skills. Like I said, I'm not supposed to be an archer. I actually chose to be a mage. And the problem is, um, I changed my stat points to make me more of an archer. And now I suck as a mage, so I can't use my mage abilities. Because uh, I die a lot. But with archery right now, I just have to stand there and shoot arrows. And I don't have any other skills. I have fucking one archer skill. In fact, I don't even have one archer skill. My double shot isn't really a sk I mean, it makes it so you shoot two arrows instead of one at the beginning when this resets, like this. Uh, you can see I'm shooting one arrow. When that gets to one, when I shoot normally, I shoot two arrows. That's the only difference, and that's the only archery <laughs> fucking skill that I have. Alright, so I picked that plant. So now I can make some rope. Um, crafting. Rope. Apparently I cannot make rope yet. Did I not pick the plant? I killed the dire wolf so I could pull that shit out of that plant. Right there. I did not pick the plant. And the dire wolf's back or a different dire wolf is also close in proximity, but... All right, so now that I have plant fiber, I can go ahead and craft that rope using our plant fiber. And then we'll go back over here and we'll see tools and weapons to make the ax. We need one stone. So stones are kind of, it's interesting how difficult it is to find the stones sometimes. And it's not necessarily that they're not abundant, they are around. But a lot of them are hidden by the grass and things. Sometimes I'll, I'll be like in a place like this, I can't see shit. And I'll be moving around and I'll find a stone. And it's it's kind of cool. But they do that, you have to search for it a little bit. But there's other areas, there's a lot of stones laying around. I've only found one area that I actually was able to get a bunch of stones. And I'm so fucking tired right now. There's a stone right there. No? Is that not a stone? See? Deceiving. Oh shit, now there's another dire wolf on me. And right now I'm using my basic generic archery attack because I really don't have anything else to use on this dire wolf. Um, I'm gonna check my stats right now and see if I can change back. You know what, I'll probably just do that and I'll go to bed because I'm so tired, guys. I'm so very tired right now. I'm dying tired. Come on, dire wolf. Let's die or wolf because he's a dire wolf and I want him to die. Okay. Let's go and try to respec. Fuck it. So I'm clicking respec here. 
And you can see here it's uh, very uh, Dungeons and Dragon-esque here. And you can see on the right side here what these numbers affect. So I'd put it up in Dexterity and Perception for Archery Constitution, because that's a good life band. But my skill damage was, or my spell damage was fucking horrible. I wanted to have better spell damage. So we're going to try this. We're going to go with Intelligence. That brings up my Willpower, Mana. Willpower and Mana. I'm falling asleep again. Did you see that? I just dozed out. Let's do Constitution 16. Perception gives me accuracy and critical chance. Charisma gives me mana and luck. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we do 10, 7 points left. We're going to put those into that one. Dexterity, I don't really need right now. That's more for evasion, but it also gives you. Um, so let's see what dexterity does. Evasion and lock picking. Yeah, not really that important for me. Not if I'm a mage user. You have to wait one week since the last time you changed your character's attribute. So apparently it's seven days, not five, because it's been five days, so I have to wait seven days to change back. That is a, an annoying thing, because that actually does limit lock what you can do. And that sucks, because most of the game is very free for you to choose your own path. But that, that lock, I'm going to say something to the devs about that. I think that should be taken out. I mean, at least less than a week. Waiting an entire week to respec, especially like if you're trying to play multiple characters, like you want to switch over to a healer for a group event that you're going to do. And that's what I plan on doing, is being a healer. I'm not going to be able to wait a week. Um, maybe like, you know, 20 minutes? 10 minutes? Can't do it while you're in combat? Something, you know, like you should be able to respec. Everything else is completely available. I can go over here to my skills menu. Anytime. You know what? I'm fucking dying. I'm sleeping. I'm so fucking tired right now. I am so fucking tired right now. Like, you don't understand. These are tanning beds. I can't use them, though. Oh, my God. I'm falling asleep. Look at all the shit you need to make on these. Look at the spider over here. Oh, yeah. He's a jumping spider. Die, Spidey. Like I said, I have one attack. I'm just pulling the button, repeating this attack over and over and over and over. There are actually eight archer skills in the game right now. I just can't obtain any of them right now because uh, I'm not doing enough damage because I don't have any skills. Uh, so let's go and go to the fire. I'll show you. So the fire replenishes your energy here. You can see once this bar gets up to here, the left bar over here will pop up. And then I can pick... Uh, talent trees and uh, I'll show you those so here's your abilities like I showed you earlier you can see at the bottom if you actually are looking at some of these abilities and you find one that you actually really want to get um, you can hover over it and see at the bottom there it says elder mountain troll ogre master discovered from those are so discovered from those two creatures which kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking for to go find that skill if you want to gain that skill you gotta kill a bunch of those creatures I think that's kind of cool. Uh, what's this? Not mine. I guess it doesn't matter what that is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and chill and outside here. Inside this house. <gasps> For a short minute. I'm so fucked up right now. And I'm going to go ahead and play this video here. For you guys to enjoy. But please go and check out Bratwurst. He's badass. And you need to go and follow him and subscribe on his YouTube channel. I'll be right back.
also just to be clear, I just burned myself pretty badly with fucking mashed potatoes. They were really hot and put them in my mouth. Now the roof of my mouth is numb from the fucking burn. Pretty fucking stupid. Pretty fucking stupid. Junkie, where's your tea? I don't know. So I still can't craft this fucking axe. Let's go find a rock. I need one small stone. Oh, there's spider. Missed though. Is that a spoon? Nope, that's. So I'll show you something kind of crazy in a second. See if we can find one more small stone. And then I will show you guys how the uh, heavy materials work. Which is another reason this game has this added crafting experience. I, I was talking about earlier how it reminded me a lot of like Diablo 2, um, Jack and Sang Online, Albion Online, Path of Exile. And it takes that, it combines it with games like Conan Exiles and I thought of Exiles because I said Path of Exile. But yeah, and the forest, like building the way the building works with the fire pit that I tried to build, the fire uh, campfire. I know what I'm saying. I'm tired. I told you I was tired. I told you I was tired a long time ago. I'm fucking exhausted. Seriously, I'm gonna be ending the stream in a minute. I'm just waiting for the goddamn dryer to stop. Watch, I'm gonna get rid of my green screen for a second. Ooh, there's the dryer. And it has 14 minutes. That's a long time. I don't wanna wait no fucking 14 minutes. That's too much. The inside of my mouth is still numb. Since I can't change my spec yet, I couldn't do what I wanted to do tonight, so I really want to go back to being a mage because I was a mage, and that really does kind of defeat the entire idea of the classless system. So I am going to actually mention this to the devs, see if I can not get them to change the way that works. Just not being able to change your attribute points or your uh, respect your 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 points. It makes it so you literally cannot do anything because where I put my points here, you can see. Wait a minute, what the hell? Confirm. You have to wait a week. But are my points at this right now? Now I'm confused because I don't even know if this is my actual stats. Um, here's the talent tree. It looks very much like a Path of Exile talent tree, except it's got like a million less uh, nodes. <laughs> and you can purchase these talent point unlocks for 2500 KP, which right now I have 2585, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock another talent point. Um, what's really cool about this, if you are by a fire, you can actually modify these and take them back and then change trees at any time and that's what i'm saying you should be able to respect because if you're changing if you're able to change your tree your talent tree here and you're able to change your abilities at will all you have to do is be by a fire if you're by a fire it's very easy to change learn and memorize your abilities look at this cure wounds it's one of my first uh actual uh Healing spells that actually heals other people. I'm super excited about that. This one's minor healing, which is a, a self spell. So, very cool. Um, yeah, I didn't know that I unlocked that. I unlocked that from spell. Uh, what did I unlock that from? I guess it, it, uh, that's interesting. This tells you right here at the bottom discovered from Goblin Cutthroat and Bandit Marauder. But right here, it takes away the discovered from form when you learn them. Which is interesting, because uh, what if you forgot? I guess it doesn't matter because you are going to be looking for creatures that have skills you want. Right? I don't know. I'm tired of shit. Um, I might actually go ahead and say fuck this and try and go get some sleep. Because i got to wake up in three hours to take my wife to work anyway. Um, what I did want to show you really quick... that one okay let's head on over here there's a small stone and I'm gonna go ahead and craft that axe that I've been trying to craft for a while so primitive axe I'm gonna craft that bling 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 alright now they have that axe in my inventory I don't have to equip it or anything but I can click on this tree and I can click the axe 
and cut down this tree. Now this is an interesting feature of this game. What happens when you are carrying heavy resources such as logs or rock? So it drops the logs here and you pick the log up and you literally can only carry one log at a time and you go very, very slow. And there are a lot of ways around that. You can set your log down wherever you want. It just chills there. We can go ahead and knock this tree down too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we can go ahead and mine this rock, but we don't have a uh, mining pick. Which actually, they don't have mining picks in the game yet. Right now, the way you mine is you actually use a hammer. Um, that's going to be fixed, but right now you use the uh, primitive hammer here. I need one stone and one rope. Once again, let's go back. We can craft one rope right now. Let's try and find one stone. And it was really cool. Um, since there's going to be four continents at launch, um, on July 29th, a couple days ago, well, I guess this is the day before yesterday, so it was a couple days ago, um, Jacobo, Jacopo, sorry, and his team um, did a special live stream on Twitch. And they revealed the Wild Folk content, at least the first one. Um, the, the planet, I believe, is called the Boreas. And the continent is called Terra. And it's like a rainforest. I guess it, it says jungle, but it looks kind of like a rainforest um, biome. One of the main biomes on there. And it's really fucking cool. It's also a volcano and a bunch of other cool shit, but... I thought it was neat. This dire wolf wants to eat me. There it is. Waiting for that aggro leash to go away. Okay, guys. I love you all very much. And I would really appreciate it if you click on that link right now. It says get a free costume at launch for buying Fracture Online with this link. Because that is my uh, affiliate link. Not affiliate, but... Uh, we both get that costume if one person clicks on that link. And I'd like to get that costume. Because I like costumes and games. And I think it would be cool if one of you guys help me out and hit that link. Pay 25 bucks, get the game, come play with me. It'll be fun. And then we'll both get a free costume at launch, which will be probably in mid-December-ish. So, I like to tell you guys, I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for watching. And I will be back tomorrow night, hopefully. Um, I think I only did, what, an hour? Yeah, an hour and ten minutes. Whatever. Um, but also, I need you to do me a big favor. I need you to keep MMOing. Peace out, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons. And for links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, the MMOing store, the podcast, and more, check out my website. MMOing.news.blog And if you want to help me get a real.com and keep the stream flowing smoothly, consider becoming an MMOing supporter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream.